going on, family? Welcome to Support and Resistance 2.0. Basically, support and resistance in death. Best way to keep a cleaner chart and catch key entries. And this is how I honestly do it when I'm looking at these pairs that I trade, right? And I'm going to show you two techniques. The first one I'm going to show you, I use it for GBP, JPY, GBP, USD, and US 30, right? So I'm going to show you how I do this first. And after that, I'm going to get in death. So let me see if I have it on US 30. So what I do is it's called a QPs. You're going to learn about it. We have a separate section for that actually inside the advanced section. And what I'm doing is basically catching it at all the quarter points, 31,000, 31,250, 31,500. And what you'd realize is at these areas, price always act funny. They always act funny, right? And I'm gonna show you how we do this when it comes to GBP USD. So as you can see, this was how the chart was on a previous video. So what I now do is I come to the monthly and what I do, I don't go to the line chart. I look for the wicks and I look where price tested the most, where it acted as support and resistance, where you could see it was a serious indecision level, right? So I'm looking, I'm looking, and right here would be it for me. Honestly, right here would be it for me. And you may ask why. I'm going to place it right here so you could see. The reason why I have it here, and you'll know, because it, it wicked here, it tested it, had a, some indecision level in this area, and it came back and tested the zone four months back to back and last month february it tested the zone again before it came down so that would be one of my indecision level zones right then now i'll look for a next one and for me this would be my next indecision level zone then i come down and i look for my support zone And then looking at my candles, I would put it here because remember what I told you, in order to form a level of support, right? It needs to have a bearish candle and a bullish candle. And we have it right here. Most persons will say this is a morning star, what is also a signal. If you read the candlestick trading Bible, this is a candle um, candle uh, signal, which you can see price went up, continued up on an uptrend. So, you know, it's pretty, 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 pretty easy. So after I do that, what I now do is come down to my weekly time frame, right? And what I'm doing is I'm getting my rectangle box. The same box right here, I have it favorite. I'm gonna show you where to get it. You come right over here, you press this arrow. And if you favorite it, what you would have learned in using TradingView, it shows up at the bottom, right? So now what I'm going to do is mark off my uh, support and resistance zone using my, uh, my box. So right here would honestly be my support zone for GBP USD on the weekly time frame. So let's drag that out. And if you remember from the previous video, my colors for the weekly time frame is always purple. And then what I'm going to do now as well is draw it right up here. And I draw it to the wick. I draw it from the candle body itself to the wick. Right here, you can see candle body to the previous wick. Now you may say, hey, JD, why didn't you put it here? Why didn't you start from here? Because right here is where you have that first level of support. It broke it, yes, and it came back up, but it did not necessarily form close at the same area or close and open the same area where I wanted it to. Just right here, right? So. Hence, I, I drew it here. Now, other persons may have their ways or whatever the case, how they do it, but you're learning how I trade, right? And if we drag this over, you can see price tested this area. It tested the same area. You can see it. You drag it over, you would see price tested this area. Like, come on, it's testing this area. So that's enough confirmation already, right? So what I'm now going to do is now that we have this here, I'm going to drag this out a bit more. But this is the weekly chart, so it won't fill this out right away. It'll take some weeks to fill this out. 
I go to my daily and I look for my support and resistance on my daily time frame, right? You could see it tested this. So we can be expecting price to actually continue down right now, but it is on a bullish trend, right? And you would have learned um, inside, you're going to learn when you're drawing your trend lines, you know, this right here can be considered a channel. That's how you catch breakouts, right? You know, you draw it on both sides, but we're going to stick to the topic of this video. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to grab my rectangle box. And this is what I'm going to use again to draw my daily. My daily support zone. So we want to look for the recent daily support zone, which would be right here. Boom. Just change this color. So I draw my recent daily support zone box right here. And I'll put a next one right there. Most persons wouldn't, honestly. And that's because you already have um, the weekly, you know, resistance zone up there. But I'm going to put it there for sake being. And this right here would be my daily support and resistance zone. Then we go down to the four hour. So now in the four hour, I'm looking at, I'm looking for areas where it did the exact same thing. So I come to the recent area, boom, right here. Take out my, my box, I draw it there. And what I'm gonna do is just drag this out. Drag that out. And I come back here. And I'm gonna do the exact same thing to the wick. Boom. Now what I'm going to do is change these colors to orange, all right? You always want to color code your um, uh, your tools, what you put on your chart based on the time frame you put it on. Remember that. Now, what I'm going to do is go to my one hour and look, all right, cool. So right here we have a support level. I'll just take out my trend line and I'll just put it as a previous you know, support level Let's make this blue. What I'm gonna do again is take out my box from right here. Let's drag this out. Boom, make this blue as well. So I could know this is my, there we go. My resistance zone on the one hour time frame. Drag that out. So as you can see, price came up. It formed a bullish and a bearish candle. This made it a new resistance zone. Price couldn't break it in the tank. Did the exact same thing. It came back to this exact area. And if we drag this out, you will see, let's go to 30 minutes just so I can zoom in a bit more. Here we go. We drag this out. Okay, let's go back to the one hour. Drag this out, you would see price tested this area. It tested this area. And it tested this area before as well. You can see it, right? Look at the line. So it's important to have these analysis so you can know what price will be acting funny. Now, I really draw more of these. So the better you get and the more experience you get, you'll be drawing less of these on your chart, to be honest. You will be drawing less of these. I draw more um, rectangle box on my 15 minute, my four hour, and my daily. So what I'll do is I'll come here and I'm going to look. All right, new a new support zone formed right here. I take up my box, wham, make that black. And of course I will be using other trading tools to determine when to enter the market, right? And what I now would do is just drag this out because my one hour to, um, box is already here. What I now be doing is just leaving that there, right? Or what I can do is come up here and just draw it from the top because this right here would be considered a resistance zone because you had your, right here, you had your bullish and your bearish candle form, right? If you don't know what a bullish and a bearish candle is, you need to go back to the introduction of Forex. That means you did not read the candlestick trading Bible. So right here, you have your indecision level. 
I'm going to drag it out. You can see where it priced that to this area a lot and did a lot of, you know, funny movement. Came up, did retracement, and shot back down. Even in the past, it acted funny in this area. But we're focusing on future price, right? So you would be using other tools to determine where price would be going. And that basically covers drawing your support and resistance on your chart and keeping it cleaner. So thanks everyone for watching this video that covers support and resistance in death. Best way to keep a cleaner chart and catch key entries.